That's how you make it. Like it never even happened, happen. Serve Pro. See you tomorrow. And we welcome those of you that just got done watching Providence take on St. John's. We have a big time matchup in the Mountain West. Two second place teams facing off. Colorado State has raced off to a 17 to 5 lead. They're shooting 75% from the field. Lakes floater bothered. Scott, another offensive rebound. One to shoot. Can't get it to go. Powell with the rebound. Jordan Ken alongside Darren Collison, Avery Johnson, two former point guards sitting trackside as Scott gets whistled for his first personal foul. And what we're starting to see here, Avery, is that the officials are calling the whistle right now. And that's something Brian Dutcher said. If they will call some of this physicality, we're going to have a chance because we love to get to the free throw line. And if you remember, in their first matchup at Colorado State, San Diego State was 7 for 7 from the line, 100%. But unfortunately, Colorado State was 16 for 22. And that's because Colorado State only fouled 11 times. So they did a nice job playing defense without fouling. And Coach Dutcher believes that they got away with some physicality. Heidi, the freshman, the offensive board, 15 to shoot for San Diego State. Elijah Saunders, number 25, the mismatch on Stevens. Three to shoot. Miles Bird has to let him fly and knocks it down while getting sent to the deck. Very good shot. Cartier, the catch, the patience, and the excellent finish. Man, did you see the footwork inside <laughs> by the big fella? Catch. It's not always about passing the ball. It's about catching fundamental with two hands. Nice footwork inside. And Waters, how about the drive with the left-hand kiss? And timeout, Colorado State, as San Diego State starting to find some of their rhythm offensively. For those of you watching our free streaming coverage, it will conclude after the commercial break, but we will continue Johnson and Darren, the importance of this game. Both these teams, 7-4 and four in conference play, one game back from Utah State at the top. We talked about how good Mountain West Conference has been. This, this game is extremely important. San Diego State, they're 26 and 3 after a loss, but they're 33 and 0 after a loss. So Colorado State knows that. They know that coming in. They know they beat them. So we look to see what happens coming next. And the Rams off to a terrific start. The three point shooting from Colorado State and the way that they're getting out already, Avery. Yes, threes, please. It's been a barrage of threes. Here's Strong on the wing, getting it from the maestro. Now Stevens receives it back. It always, it's always better to give than to receive. And now Stevens from deep, a couple of steps behind the three-point line. These guys are letting it fly. They're five for six from three to start this game. As we said, this was going to be a very interesting matchup. Colorado State, the best shooting team in the Mountain West as far as highest field goal percentage against the lockdown defense of San Diego State. That has been their trademark year after year. And Brian Dutcher, they lead the conference in defending opponent's field goal percentage it's that unstoppable force versus an immovable object right and the reason why they're getting such high percentage shots is because of their ball movement when you're able to play with one another and play the right way you're going to get high percentage shots and that's what Colorado State gets every single time that's going to be a foul from behind Miles Heidi was trying to reach over the shoulder of Cartier it's going to be the fourth team foul first personal on Heidi and that was one of the things we reviewed this morning as we were watching San Diego State shoot around they were really aggressive on how they were going to play the post so can they play defense without fouling and here's another foul another foul and this time the buck is good as Cartier starting to really impose a tremendous amount of pressure on the San Diego State defense so we talked about it a little bit this morning that they were reaching in a little bit too much so can they have better positioning show your hands because when you show your hands a little bit more instead of reaching you stay out of the cookie jar and i know you love cookies there man. Late I, love night cookies. Snacks. I always get caught getting the cookie how do you have five and a half percent body fat and eating cookies late at night <laughs> but it's, it's interesting going back to that play you know we were in shoot around and we kind of saw the guys kind of gambling a little bit and getting that steal but it's different when you're playing against live action right now Dramel fakes the pass and the floater is good. It's nice to see Tramel back in the starting lineup. 
little bit smaller with with him in the lineup at the guard position, but that's something that's uh, been very successful for San Diego State. It sure was good enough to get him to the national championship game last year. Was the South Region MVP on their way to the Final Four. First ever Mountain West Conference team to win a Sweet 16, Elite 8, and Final Four game last year. The pass, Heidi, power dribble, nearly ripped away. Kicks it back up top to Bird. Bird, another triple. Off the back heel, rebound to Jalen Lake. And in those situations, you'll see Coach Dutcher tell Heidi, keep the ball above your head. If you're 6'10", 6'11", don't bring it down to where the 6'2 guys are. Here's the freshman, Kyan Evans. Starting to play a lot better after hitting that early freshman wall that a lot of freshmen across the nation deal with sometimes. Here's Strong, five to shoot. Evans back to Strong, Strong another long triple, no good. His first miss from outside. Saunders facing up from the Mountain West logo. Cartier already with one foul. Saunders fading away. I'd agree a difficulty. In, in their last matchup against Colorado State, Saunders had the ball on the post in those same situations, but he allowed Colorado State to poke the ball away from him, and he turned it over. So nice adjustment. Turnover, and that's the loudest this arena's been all night long. As Saunders, a little Jordan-esque right here. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's being patient. He's just giving what the defense gives him, and that time he turned around to his right shoulders but talking to coach he said that he felt like Saunders is a lot more relaxed coming off the bench and you know you just want him to continue to get his game going and right now you're seeing that right now the shooting for the Aztecs has completely turned around four for their last five they've trimmed the lead to eight after trailing by as many as 12 Woody up and over such a force down there such a force down there I know banks are closed, but that's what you call money in the bank. 6-0 <laughs> run for San Diego State. Cartier spinning. Cartier finishing. Move, Taking him move. to the weight room. Good move. Mm. Cartier waits for the cuts to go, but goes to his right for a spin move going up to his left. It's just an experienced move right here. I mean, this team is not going to panic. You know, Ladie had a good move on the other end. Cartier comes back down and makes a good play. Good, good move by him. As I was alluding to earlier with positioning, in that situation, Reese Waters should step in and try to take the charge rather than reach in. Two consecutive fouls against Cartier with a late, soft reach in. He's made them pay with back-to-back three-point plays. Extends the lead to nine. And now an offensive foul against Jaden Ladee. That's his second personal, seventh team foul against the Aztecs. Wow. Ladee will check out. So not much of a rest for Miles Heidi. One more look. Yeah, we got him with the right chicken wing. And sometimes, you know, in the Mountain West, it's a real physical conference. It just depends on the, refer the referees. Some referees will allow that to go, yeah. you know, play on. Maybe they think the defender is exaggerating a little bit. You get the sense they're calling it out. You have 12 combined fouls in the first 11 minutes of action. Clifford, the drive, step back, contested jumper in the eye of Heidi. This is a good shot by a good player. I mean... You couldn't contest it any better if you're Heidi, but, you know, Clifford was able to get it up. It'll be interesting to see what Coach Dutcher does with Ladee. I called the game here a couple of weeks ago. He got two early fouls, and he sat him for the rest of the first half. So we'll see if he brings him back. What do you think? I think he needs him. I think he needs him. I think he sits him for the rest Clifford of the half. Another three. The Clifford three makes it an 8-0 run for Colorado State. How about the response after San Diego State pulled it within six? This team is is such a poised team. It, dribble penetration for the easy kick out for Clifford. You're going to see that time after time again the whole night. Ram shooting 65% from the field, 11 for 17. Butler draws two. Saunders left wide open. Oh, it is pure. Yeah, Lamont Butler, you know, he 
he's one of those point guards that's going to do whatever it takes to win a game. And even in that pick and roll, he was able to draw two, which is what you want to do as a pick as, as a point guard. And he's able to give Saunders an easy shot right there. And it's real simple how easy basketball can be sometimes. If you have two on the ball, somebody's open. <laughs> you just can't hide from the basketball. Nice spacing by Saunders. Butler wants to run. Butler in transition, the one-two step fouled on the floor. Six-team foul against Colorado State, but so far, the Rams continuing. We they talked shoot the ball well from outside. We talked about Colorado State. They drove penetration. Clifford right there for the three. Lamont drawing two. It's that simple. Saunders with the three. San Diego State down 30-19. Final score on January 30th, San Diego State falling to Colorado State, 79-71. The Rams, Lee Clifford, 20 points, Isaiah Stevens, 20 points, and the tournament resumes. Both teams projected to be a 5-4 and four seed, respectively, and you really look at that strength of schedule, Avery, that stands out for San Diego State at 13. Yeah, that's when you really go out in the non-conference and you challenge yourselves. Even some of the losses that they had uh, in the non-conference, um, you know, they lost, but against some really tough teams, you know, look at a team like Grand Canyon. You think Grand Canyon? Well, that's a tough place to play, and they lose that game and, uh, you know, losing at Colorado State, like you said. But they also had some very impressive wins. Yes. And Darren, you know this. Giving up a three out of a timeout will drive a coach crazy as Tremel gets the It's the, the worst thing that he, a coach doesn't want to see, but, you know, Colorado State has done a good job for the most part thus far. That's probably their only mistake, you know, since the game has started. Joel Scott working against Powell, poked away. That'll reset things with six seconds to shoot, and now it's up to San Diego State to defend here. And, guys, when we're looking at that comparison, Let's give Coach Nico Medvev some credit. This guy's in his sixth year. They went to the tournament in 2022, which was the first time in nine seasons. This is a very impressive, not only head coach, but his coaching staff. Love uh, Coach Tim Shelton, who was the scouting coach for this game tonight. Stevens misses everything, and now San Diego State can try to string together a little run of themselves. Butler spinning. Butler puts it in. Yes, Lamont's done a great job of using his body right there. I think him and DT, they have to do a good, a better job of getting inside the paint as they much did the last few possessions. The teams have traded 8-0 runs. Clifford, step back on the switch. No good. Butler chases it down. And in that situation, that's when Colorado State wants to make one or two more extra passes to move this San Diego State defense. Parrish looking for the screen here, off to his right. Ten to shoot for Butler. Parrish thought about it. Rhythm bounce. Parrish lets it fly. But you notice, guys, without Jaden Ledee in the game, they just don't have that same post-up game and post-presence. Lake able to answer with a three to stop the run. Isaiah Stevens always got his head up. You know, you make a mistake on him, he's going to make you pay by hitting his teammates for the open pass. Brian Dutcher furious after that made three, a blown defensive assignment. And when you're on the road, you need an X factor. Yeah. You know, a guy like Lake, you know, he's coming off a game where he played 23 minutes with only two points. But now he knocks down the three, beats the closeout. Those are the kind of X factors that you need on the road. So if Lake can give you seven or eight points off the bench, that's probably five more than you were counting on. Yeah. Those are the first three bench points for Colorado State. Miles Heidi picks up his second personal eighth team foul against San Diego State. Lake wants to try it again this time. Not a splash from outside as they bring it back down the floor to do the Aztecs. Trammell, crossover dribble, contested triple, no good. Scott brings down his fifth rebound. 
Clifford, hesitation rises up high, body to body, able to put it in. Yeah, Clifford is the most athletic player on Colorado State's team. You know, he's long, he's got that wingspan. He's an outstanding defender, but man, that was a massive move through contact and transition. This is what you used to do, right, Darren? I would have dunked it. <laughs> <laughs> no, <I'm> just <laughs> Really? Used to. That, you heard of used to do. <laughs> yeah. I got to go back and, on the internet and check this out, see some oh, of your man. highlights. <laughs> that last foul was on Clifford, his first, sends San Diego State into the bonus, and this sends Miles Bird, the sophomore from Stockton, California. He's played very well off the bench. Feathers in the first free throw. And here are the current standings in the Mountain West. Ooh. Why this game is so important. And then you've got New Mexico and Nevada, both with four losses in conference play, facing off right here on CBS Sportsnet after this game. Yeah, and watch this team right here, UNLV. Watch UNLV. Avery, you talk about UNLV as Reese Waters checks in. One of the more enigmatic teams in this Mountain West. They've had a couple of head-scratching losses, but then also some very impressive wins on the road in New Mexico, especially. Yeah, just the inconsistency of their season, but they're very capable. Nine-point advantage for Colorado State. Be near four and a half minutes left in this first half. We've got a turnover forced by Waters. Colorado State can't handle the pass. Just their fourth turnover of the game. And, and right there, obviously, Isaiah Stevens is normally the, the primary ball handler in, initiating the offense. Right there, he wasn't. And San Diego State was able to get it turnover. That's what San Diego State wants to do. They want to turn you over as much as they can to get jumpstart their offense. Butler, the mid-range jumper, sticks another one. They feed off turnovers. They feed off turnovers. You have to take care of the ball of your Colorado State. That Butler had his most productive month in March. I mean, in January, excuse me. Averaged 12 points a game, and we know what he can do. He's, this guy's a gamer. Clifford, catch and shoot three. Off the front of the rim, here comes Butler at a numbers disadvantage. Tremel trailing. Saunders open. Saunders for three. That's all right. That's Rolls off the top of the backboard. But Colorado State with a seven-point lead. Lamont Butler, the hero in last year's NCAA tournament run, trying to will his team back into this one as he sticks the jumper for his fourth point. Alhama, where Tiger and Rory made their mark. The PGA Championship this May on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus. Next Tuesday at 9 Eastern, we bring you more Top 25 Mountain West play as these Aztecs go head-to-head -head against Utah State right here on CBS Sports Network. It is a grind in the Mountain West Conference this year because, Darren, check out these net rankings. They might get six teams potentially in this year's tournament. Yeah, some people said three, four, five, and now even six. I mean, it just shows you the, 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 the competition that's in this conference and you got to love to see it. Every night it's a battle, and every team that we're looking at right now deserves or has a, you know, story to get in. And you see, guys, four teams in the top 30 in the current net rink. Yeah. All right? And then you got the other two in the top 50. That's very impressive. Very impressive. What's interesting is the Mountain West has started to go big game hunting in non-conference play. Both UNLV and Colorado State have knocked off Creighton, a Big East team, and We've talked to multiple coaches that have said that experience against playing against that Big East physicality has fared very well when we get to conference play. And you see the eye test. These teams are much more physical this year compared to previous years. And the Mountain West was the only conference, the only conference where all of the teams finish the non-conference slate with a winning percentage above 500. That's <laughs> what more can you say? Here's the foul on Demarche Johnson Jr. And Patrick Cartier heads to the line with 10 points, 4-4 four four from the field. And you could argue has been the most valuable player this half as he hits the first free throw. 
Coming up on AT&T at the half, Brent Stover, Shelvin Mack, Roy Hibbert, and Gary Parrish will get you caught up on all the scores, highlights, and all the latest news in the world of college basketball. That's all coming up on AT&T at the half. If you're San Diego State, you're very fortunate to be down nine with Ladie being on the bench in foul trouble. Let's see if somebody else can get it going. Ladie, the leading scorer in the conference, and nearly 20 points per game, just five points and two fouls, and that's going to be a foul on the ball against Isaiah Stevens, and that'll send Reese Waters, a 93% free throw shooter, to the line. And I agree with you, Darren, because I don't be believe Ladie's coming back in the game in the first half, so can they keep it under 10 points, you know, somewhere around seven going into the half? Before they bring him back, he'll have three additional fouls in the second half be a lot fresher and highly motivated but then if you're colorado state you want to keep as much separation as you can yeah and, and going back to your point with san diego state you know you're in the bonus so this is the time to drive to the basket you know create any type of contact so you get some easy points at the free throw line waters now with four and keep this in mind San Diego State trailed by nine with 931 left when Ladie checked out. So far, they're plus two since then. Scott, the scooping hook shot that kisses off the backboard. Another tough physical finish at the rim. Yeah, and in that situation, Coach Dutcher's upset because Saunders, he's saying, look, why are you playing on the side of your man? Three-quarter court. Keep him in front. Contain him. Yep. And, and if you're Johnson, knowing that he's pressuring, you got to be there to help. And right there, he was a little bit late to help. Clifford will bring it down. Just over two and a half minutes left here in the first half. Colorado State looking for the season sweep of San Diego State. And to move a half game back from conference leading Utah State. Clifford the drive, and that's going to be a foul on the floor as Waters was trying to take the charge. Yeah, Saunders tried to pressure him. He's on the side, and... Obviously, you know, to Avery's point, didn't do a good job, but that's where Johnson has to step over to help early. When you're pressuring the basketball, you're going to get beat every now and then. And as your teammate, you have to know that that's going to happen, and you got to be there to help them as much as you can. This Colorado State offense, one of the most efficient in the country, ranking first in the Mountain West in several categories. But during this four-game winning streak, Avery, when we were talking to Coach Medved, he said, it's really been the defense and the way that we've become a much more physical basketball team at this part of the season. Yeah, I really was impressed with his defense and just that mentality that you know you got a guard, you know who's the hot shooter, who's the driver. It's also about individual scouting reports. Tremel going opposite the screen. Baseline jumper off the head of Cartier into the hands of Scott for rebound number six. But you notice, guys, the difference with Colorado State and San Diego State. Colorado's getting the ball to that second yeah. side most of the time, yeah. whereas San Diego State's been stuck either in the middle of the floor or on one side. The ball doesn't have energy. It's got to get to the other in second and third side. Stevens floats in midair, takes the contact, and goes window shopping for two more. And and to your point, Avery, when the ball is touching everybody, it makes it your job a lot easier as a player because you know the ball is going to come back to you, and you know you're going to have an open shot coming back your way. Saunders in and out, fadeaway. Ball bouncing towards the Colorado State sideline, and it'll be Rams ball after the scuffle near the baseline. First one to the floor. Who's going to get there first? Wow, looked like the ball went off a of strong. It looked, it looked like it went off a of med bed. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> and the crowd just saw the replay. That's why you heard the cascade of boos come raining down. Because they felt Heidi knocked it off the leg of the Colorado State player. We've been seeing a lot of coaches on the floor being that six man this year. I used to get more. Well, I quite know a bit. you're not talking, Avery. That, <laughs> come on now, Avery. <laughs> I know you're not talking. <laughs> Offensive foul against Scott. Second. We know where you would have been at. <laughs> yeah. Now see this foul here underneath that hole. One oh six left, Darren. 
for San Diego State, you don't have your ace Ladi on the floor. What do you have to do with the last couple of possessions? Well, I think Tremel and uh, Butler, they got to they got to get to the paint. They got to try to get a contact, try to get a foul, and try to get an easy bucket right here. Couple of handoffs Ooh, nice stolen steal. by Cartier. Cartier up ahead, strong. One, two, Ooh. step, crashing to the floor and lays it in. That was good recognition by Coach Medved to, to trap the pick and roll, which you haven't seen that a lot in the first half. And, you know, but, he wasn't able to adjust by Lamont. Man, but did you see the speed of strong <laughs> and the acceleration in the finish? Wow. Trammell, no good. Waters fighting for it. Here he goes by again. Clifford. Colorado State can hold for the last shot as Coach Medved shouts 1-1-1 one, one, one from the sideline. So what's going to happen here, they'll start to move around seven seconds, but they want to get the last shot. They don't want any time on the clock. Stevens getting to the paint, tries to dump it off to Cartier, and that's going to do it for the first half of basketball. But Colorado State putting on an offensive clinic. They shoot 57% from the field, 50% from three, and they are very difficult to beat when they've got a lead heading into the locker room at halftime. And that'll do it at the end of the first half with the score 44 to 30. Colorado State eyeing the season sweep over San Diego State. Jaden Liddy picked up two early fouls. What can he bring in the second half to try and slow down the hot shooting Rams? Or Turkey, a beautiful night in San Diego. However, it's Colorado State. An offense that's a thing of beauty. 44-30 lead at the end of the first half as we get ready for second half action. Jordan Kent, Darren Collison, and Avery Johnson. And Darren, the three-point shooting for Colorado State. They came out, they hit their first three threes of the game. They're shooting 50% from beyond the arc of the first half. Yeah, and they're doing it by committee. You know, they're moving the ball the way they want to make the, make the pass to the open man. They're getting a lot of high percentage shots because the ball is finding everybody. That energy is contagious, and everybody's getting a feel for looks as you see Stevens knocking down the three. And Avery for San Diego State. Struggling on the defensive side, trying to slow down Colorado State. Offensively, Jaden Ladee, two fouls, they have to rely on their bench. Yeah, and Colorado State's a much desperate team, so when they're more desperate, you need guys like Miles Bird and Elijah Saunders to come off this bench, provide a spark for San Diego State to keep this game close, especially when your best player like Jaden Ladee is in foul trouble. They've contributed in a variety of ways, and... Um, it's going, they're going to need that boost off the bench. Let's take a look at the game summary brought to you by AT&T and the three-point shooting, a big difference in this one. Also, the nine assists for Colorado State. They lead the conference in assists. And your leading score in the first half for the Rams, Patrick Cartier, four of four from the field, four of five from the free throw line to go along with 11 from Josiah Strong. For San Diego State, four players lead the way with five points each. Lady battling Cartier. Lady with those two fouls. Cartier, known for his footwork, cross court pass, the skip, pump fake, Clifford left wide open. And Scott can't control it. And here's what is at stake for San Diego State. One of the few teams undefeated at home this season, 11 and 0. But now trailing by 14 against the Colorado State team, Darren. That is 14 and 1 when they lead after the first half this year. Yeah, Colorado State, they know it's at stake. You know, San Diego State plays well at home. We all know that. Uh, but going back to that last play, if you're Colorado State, you're happy with that sash selection. You know, they know Ladies in foul trouble. They're able to get a wide open look. And so it'd be interesting to see if they continue to give more of that look towards Ladee, going knowing that he's in foul trouble. Yeah, and when you're trying to get back and cut into this lead, you got to try to get in the bonus first offensively. Tramiel nearly loses it out of bounds. Here is Ladee, faces up against Cartier. No good. Waters, offensive rebound, just the third for San Diego State. He'll try the triple off the rim. Parrish rips it away. Already, San Diego State turning up the physicality. Parrish blocked from behind by Clifford. And then a foul as Waters beats the Rams to another loose ball. One of the easiest times to get a, a three-point shot is off an offensive rebound. So you look at San Diego State really turning up the physicality, attacking the offensive glass. Sometimes your best shot is your mid-shot. 
That's the third foul on Joel Scott. Darren, we have seen Scott close out a lot of possessions, getting tough rebounds. This will be an interesting adjustment now moving forward. Yeah, for sure. And, um, you know, I, going back to San Diego State, I want them to give the ball to Ladee. Let's get them going and see what it does for them. Right there is perfect timing right there. They feed Ladee, <laughs> and, and he yeah. delivers Ladee now. Seven points, and then the steal on the other end, save. Here come the Aztecs, Liddy, oh, rumbling yeah. towards the cup, the oh, Euro step, yeah. a remarkable finish by Jaden Liddy. And that's what we showed in the pregame, Liddy getting out in transition, he's more than just a half-court player. Now we got the crowd yeah. to show into the game. Yep. The halftime snacks are down and the hands are up as this crowd of Yeas Arena trying to urge their team back into this game. Clifford, the drive. Clifford, no good. Liddy spinning. Liddy trying to go through Cartier and picks up the foul. Right. Feed the B. Liddy. He's the best player on the floor. Obviously, you know, he's going to be in contention for the Mountain West Player of the Year. <laughs> and Avery's looking at me because he knows my pick for Mountain West Player of the Year. And Isaiah Stevens, but two really good players. It, it just amazes me when your best player gets it going, how much the team follows suit. Right, Avery? I mean, they, I think second half, they made it a point of emphasis to get him going, and you can see the crowd getting involved now. And look like they're force-feeding him now. They want to yeah. get the ball inside, really want to keep pressure on this uh, Colorado State defense, keep them out of transition. That was the Can't second go. foul on Cartier. Shot is waved off. Lane violation, San Diego State, so that will erase the point. And Colorado State will inbound it. My brother jumped the gun just a little bit too early. Four press coming out from the Aztecs. This was a big part of Colorado State shoot around this press offense this morning. Making sure that Stevens was able to continue to touch the basketball. Stevens, beautiful hesitation move, can't get the finish. Butler. Cross-court pass, rhythm bounce, Trammell from the corner, no good. Palmer can't handle it, Waters will scoop it up. Yeah, we talked about it, he struggled to shoot the three last game against Nevada. San Diego State, three of 13 in this game. They were three of 19 in that overtime loss against Nevada. Cartier with the mismatch down low. Strong the three, no good. Butler skying for the rebound. Butler kicks it into another gear. We have a foul, and it's going to be against Colorado State. Strong sent to the floor. But if you look at this drive by Lamont Butler, this doesn't happen if Ladee doesn't post up the way he's posting up. And that's why Lamont's able to get an easy look at the basket and getting some contact right there. You right Yeah, here's Ladee. this seal right there. Yes, yes. That doesn't happen if Ladee doesn't do that. That's basically like an assist. Yep. It's not going to show up on the stat sheet. CBS Sports celebrates Black History Month, paying tribute to the triumphs, influence on culture, and legacy of achievement. As Lamont Butler hits the first free throw. Knocks down the second. And San Diego State inching closer back into this game. Colorado State still scoreless in this second half. It's been a 7-0 Aztec run. Nice, nice sub here by Coach. All right. Avery mentioned this is this is where this press is coming in. Yep. They gotta be careful right here if you're a Colorado State. Stevens bothered by Trammell, and that's going to be a foul on Paris. A little overly aggressive on the handoff. Yeah. 
Second personal on Parrish. First team foul of the half against San Diego State. This is such a big possession for Colorado State. If they don't, if they don't get an easy basket right here, look for San Diego State to go down there to get an easy one themselves. That's Powell cheated on the inbounds pass. He yep. hedged strongly to the right side. Clifford beat him on the backdoor cut to get the first two there's points no, in the second half. There's no reason in the world when you're on the ball side out of bounds that you need to be jumping All towards half court yep. and allow that quick back door. Yep. Nice read by Colorado State. Here's Liddy, the fadeaway baseline jumper. Rebound by Scott. Stevens. Knocks down another triple and a 5-0 run quick started for Colorado State. This team is experienced. You know, they're not going to panic. You know, San Diego State's making it run. Colorado State did a good job of responding. And Avery, that was a near transition bucket as well, too, as Levy gets fouled and hits the lay-in. Yeah. His first transition three, Stevens, when you have a point guard that can drive here, transition, and stop and pop, really puts pressure on the defense. And then Ladie on the roll, not a traditional post-up, but a pick and roll and finishes. College basketball on CBS Sports Network presented by Old Trapper Beef Jerky. 49-39 advantage for Colorado State. Just under 16 minutes left of basketball in this game. Well, the Rams are back in action this Saturday as they take on the top-ranked Utah State Aggies. It all tips off at 5.30 Eastern here on CBS Sports Network. And this is a conference that many people feel might get five teams into the NCAA tournament. And when you look at the other teams joining them in this type of elite company, it speaks volumes about the type of basketball being played out west. And we're not showing with the Mountain West, it could be five and a half. <laughs> <laughs> so what's that, one, one foot on the dance yeah, floor? Yeah, we, we had that 16 <laughs> kind of squeak in there. Just depends on the Mountain West tournament, how they finish the regular season. Jaden Ladee, who already has seven points in the second half, Hit the tough lay and drew a foul on Neat Clifford. That's Clifford's second personal foul, 14 foul in Colorado State. And Ladee will add some tip to the bill to trim the lead to nine. And this is another situation after a free throw. Remember this morning, coach, assistant coach David Velasquez, he was making sure that they got their defense set. You know they, how they want to attack. Let's see if they can carry out what coach. Velasquez wanted in this situation and looked like they did. Well, Travell pokes it away. <laughs> Waters gives it right back up. Stevens, the drive, the, the floater, popcorns out. Clifford, tough rebound, and we are seeing time and time again Colorado State attacking the offensive glass. Yeah, and see this wild sequence here? Did a nice job of denying, trying to disrupt Colorado State, but then basically gave it back to him. That was on Trammell, his first. A lot of loose basketball happening right now. 13 to shoot as Palmer clutches it up top. Bemba looking for a handoff. Clifford. The strong take to the left. Tries to snake to the cup. Can't get it. Ripped away again by Waters. If you're, if you're San Diego State, you right now you want to get the ball to Ladee right now as you may have a matchup. It's Ladee trying to work against the 250-pound freshman and takes him to school. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the proper matchup right there. If you're San Diego State, continue to feed him the basketball, and he's going to up-jump your offense. We got to give Darian Trammell credit. Nice job of pivoting, staying under control. Ladee gambles, and Bemba crashes towards the cup, and that's a foul on Burr. We talk about San Diego State's defense at home using their hands, and it right here, like mm. Avery said, Trammell giving it to Ladee in the paint. Finishing with a right. That's what you call a man-sized duck. Ceiling in the paint. 
And what I love about stealing the paint in that area, Avery, you can't really double, right? Good. That's a hard place to double if you're for any opposing team. Fantastic point. Bemba, the freshman from Vienna, Austria. 20 years old, has experience competing for Austria at the FIBA three-on-three -three tournament in 2023. Getting some valuable experience deep into the conference season. Some key minutes as he splits a pair of free throws. With the matchup of Bemba versus Ladi down low. Can the freshman hold his water? Ladi, one, two step, picks up another foul and drops it in. So in this situation with this pick and roll, where is the low weak side defender? The low weak side defender has to come over and you got to force this skip pass. So in this situation, you know, you're looking at Joe Palmer, he's got to slide in and have better positioning to make Ladee force one more pass. And with the amount of attention that Ladee gets night in and night out, pick and roll play is one way to give him the basketball. Instead he's of open. Giving, there you go. Ladee yep. puts another yep. plate on the bar. Yep. The ball game now. San Diego State cuts the lead to four. Interesting, no timeout here for Colorado State. We'll see if they can get a quality shot. Poked away. Butler stepping through. Butler stopped at the cup, and that's going to be off the leg of San Diego State. Rams ball. Yeah, right here, Ladee gets the ball. You know, he feels like he has a matchup every single time he gets down the paint. I mean, this is good for Ladee. You know, he's, he's always getting double teamed. So getting him the basketball on a pick and roll setting in different spots is very good for San Diego State. Yeah, but I'm gonna have to teach Nick Clifford to go to acting oh, school. Oh, knocked out of orbit by Powell. Powell oh. crashing into Cartier, and Cartier was rooted in that position as he draws the charge. Yep, so this definitely is a charge. Man, when you're in that situation, nice pass by Ladee Bird. Wow, you got a two-foot jump stop. So the foul on Powell leads to the timeout, but San Diego State has stormed right back into this game. The Terry Community. 50 to 46 lead for Colorado State. Jaden Ladee, just five points, limited minutes in the first half. The conference's leading scorer making his presence felt here in the second. Yeah. His teammates, is, they're getting him the ball, especially on rolls. Here's Ladee in transition. And Darren, I know you like just the body language of this San Diego State team in the second half. Yes, I mean, you said it right, Avery. I mean, Ladee's getting it in all different ways, whether it's the pick and roll, transition. You see sometimes he's posting up into the paint. I mean, they came out with the emphasis of getting him the basketball. And right now he's getting the crowd in it. His team seems like he's, they're energized off of it. They're really feeding off his energy. 14 points, six of eight from the field. But you were talking earlier, Avery, just the gravity that he attracts, his presence. It feels like that half of the floor so much more wide open in the second half for San Diego State than it was in the first. But in San Diego State's defense, they're only shooting 22% here in the second half after shooting 57% in the first half. Stevens, the pump fake. Clifford, back to Stevens. Clifford, left wide open, no good. You notice offensively Colorado State is shot faking a lot more in the second half. They passed up one or two rhythm threes that were really good threes to take maybe one not as nearly. Parrish, five to shoot, has to do something with it. Tough jumper with the left hand. Saunders fights for the board. They were unable to get the ball to Jaden Ladee that entire possession. 
Trammell, pocket pass, intercepted, broken up. Here comes Palmer leading the break. That's what I was talking about, getting that low man in there on Ladee's rolls to help out. It's a prime example. Stevens steps into the three, saw some daylight. And Ladee is going to be hacked by Palmer. And that's going to be the sixth team foul against Colorado State. And it occurs 85 feet away from the basket. And guys, you remember when Palmer checked in the first time in the first half? First play, he fouled. <laughs> so he's got to stay away from some of those silly fouls. San Diego State was fortunate that Colorado State didn't hit that three. They switch mid-play. Normally, you want to switch off the ball when the, you know, the offense is not looking. But they were they're very fortunate that they got away with one. Here's Liddy trying to work against the freshman Bemba, who's back in the game. The three from the corner. Oh, three ball corner pocket for Tremel. One point game. And that is going to be a foul as Saunders trips up Scott. San Diego State trailed by 14 at half. San Diego State, Parrish is looking at Ladee. The whole defense is looking at him for Tramel's three. Colorado State only up 150 to 49. You're watching College Valley. In the Mountain West, Colorado State leads by one. San Diego State has outscored the Rams by 13 in the second half. And this is a place that San Diego State simply does not lose that often. Since 2013-14, just 11 losses. They're 33-0 at home following a loss. And they're trying to bounce back from that loss against Nevada. And how about the defense we're seeing in the second half? Yeah, it's very impressive. And you're talking about the Aztecs who lead the Mountain West in field goal percentage defense. Teams are only shooting 43% against them. So there's no surprise. These guys not only know how to protect their home court, they know how to play defense consistently in the Mountain West. Nice block by Pal coming from the right side. Now these are the little guys going at it. Tramell's playing defense without fouling. He gets another block by Pal. That's um, very impressive. What I, what I love about San Diego State is everybody, every position competes defensively. And defense, as you know, Avery, it's, it's about competing. It's about you know, playing your guy honest one-on-one -on -one and not letting him score on you, and they all do that. And if somebody gets beat, they're willing to help their teammates. You don't want to be the weak link. Scott fouled by Saunders, back-to-back -back fouls on Saunders, and that'll send Scott to the free throw line. Yeah, in, in that situation, just just put your hands up. You know, that's just a, a, a bad, you know, decision. Saunders has been playing well. He's given his team a lot of energy, but in that situation, you just want to put your hands up and try to let them finish over you. And we've seen some undisciplined fouls from San Diego State throughout this game. Guys reaching in late and especially guys coming off the bench. That's where you really need that discipline defensively. Yeah, this is a, a game where you have to show discipline and you can't really make a lot of mistakes because as we all know, it's going to come down to who makes the least amount of mistakes. And right now, you don't want to be that team that's making mistakes like that. Joel Scott, the transfer from... Black Hills State has been credited for upping the physical intensity of this Colorado State team. They said since day one he's been a difference maker, and you see it on the floor, not the same Colorado State team that competed in this conference last season. Ladee. Look how much pressure Ladee puts on the team. The catch wow. and the completion. Wow. But guys, you know, Ladee, great move, but he was in the lane for six seconds. <laughs> I, I counted eight. I didn't see the meter. I eight. Eight. <laughs> Still a one-point game. Stevens over to Strong. Strong baseline drive up and under. Too strong. Pal fighting for it off the hands of Bemba. San Diego State ball. Ladi just established position. It's just the force and can't be stopped down there. He's finishing up there with a easy layup. He did what established position? Well, he was. It, it you like only it. saw the two and a half seconds part of the. You can start your watch now, Avery, if you want. <laughs> Pal thought about the three, gonna 
save it for a higher quality shot. Why not look to give it to him again? Give him the ball. Force Colorado State to double team. There you go. The double comes. Tremel. This time the drive tripping. And a travel as Tremel could not keep his feet underneath himself. In, in that situation, if you're Lady, you kind of want to bait that double team a little bit more. Just a half a second. You know, right there they came really early, but just baiting that double team is gonna able to get a nice easier shot on the weak side if they make a couple passes to the corner. But one of the things San Diego State worked on this morning with assistant coach Chris Acker was when that first pass was passed out of the double team, they want the ball to skip to the other side. Yeah. So that time Tremel held on to it. It's got to move it to the second side, which is one of their points of emphasis at halftime. Absolutely. Stevens catch cross court pass. Cartier this time calling for a down low. Cartier to the right hand, short, poked away. How about the rebound by Scott? Scott blocked by Powell. Butler knocked to the floor by Scott. I love it. I love it. That's the fourth Let's personal go. on Scott. Let's Seventh go. team foul. So a very expensive foul for Colorado State. We all, we all need a friend. We all need a buddy. And we all need a pal. <laughs> he is everywhere. Wow. Staying in the play, continuing. Wow, and this is clean. Clean block. So Joel Scott heads to the bench with four fouls, six rebounds. And the energy and effort from the San Diego State bench has been a difference maker in this game as Lamont Butler hits the line for a one and one. Absolutely. I mean, you can see San Diego State's defense speeding up Colorado State. And you don't really see that all the time. Colorado State is usually a poised team that gets what they want to go offensively. But right now, they look a little sped up. The difference in shooting for Colorado State in the first half and second half as there's another foul on the Rams and who else but Powell chasing down the loose rock. Yeah, Jay Powell, you know, transfer from Campbell. This guy was led Campbell uh, in block shots. He was third in the Big South, so he's not new to blocking shots or playing defense. Eighth team foul against Colorado State as Jay Powell heads to the line, the senior from Omaha, Nebraska. Coaches rave about his energy and activity coming off the bench. And hits the free throw in San Diego State with their first lead since the 1945 mark at the beginning of this game. It was... Over a hundred points ago in this game when it was two nothing. Pal missed another, another offensive rebound for Parrish. This is just all out muscle and hustle right now and determination from San Diego State. The, the Aztecs. Aztecs plus nine on the boards for the night. Lady poked away. How about Lake with Look the up. clean steal? Down the floor. It's strong with the lay-in. And right there in that situation, I think they were trying to get a pick and roll to Lady. And you know, Reese just just had a had a misread on that one. But if you're San Diego State, keep feeding the beast right now. Keep giving them the basketball. See what you can get out of it. How much energy does Lady have fighting for positioning every time down the floor? Parrish, the left hand. It's good. Another smart play, smart decision. Lady wasn't open. He was fronted. Parrish drove against the front. Clifford, the drive, poked away. Colorado State ball on the baseline. Yeah, right here, Ladee's putting pressure on him, posting up, and then Parrish makes the right read, like Avery said. And, you know, Ladee is causing so much attention right now in the paint. It's causing Colorado State to help on the interior of the defense and able to get some easy buckets as Parrish gets a steal right here. Bad pass, Parrish, the one-two step. Oh, oh, oh. The Euro 
Kingston. <laughs> Passport accepted. Largest lead of the game for San Diego State. Strong backdoor cut, no good. Waters. Guys, that's not a good shot. Let's call it what it is. That is not a good shot. Stevens, the spin behind that back a great dish. Pass. What a pass yeah. in the corner. Oh. So really good basketball. Strong game. can't <laughs> complete the highlights. Oh, man. And we said it earlier, the crowd may have been a little bit late arriving. <laughs> but they're not, they're early to the party now. They've really gotten this crowd into this game. Clifford gambles. Powell caught on the baseline. Trapped. Kicks it back out. Waters spills it out of bounds. Yeah, Paris out here. Nice job in transition. And then he's not going up to upstate California. He's going to Europe with this nice Euro move. Finishing with his left hand. San Diego State has outscored Colorado State by 17 in the second half to take a three-point lead with 7.31 left. Well, coming up next, our Hoops triple header wraps up with another Mountain West matchup as Nevada hosts New Mexico. Keep it here for all the action on CBS Sports Network. Gentlemen, we watch a lot of basketball. I'll tell you what, this Mountain West Conference, the combination of teams, environments that you see night in, night out, two more tournament worthy teams tipping off here soon yeah and new mexico's on the bubble i, I what bubble? i'm with you i do not agree with new mexico that. is in come on man is it the strength of schedule for new mexico yeah but i think they're, they'll be in the tournament and hopefully i'll be calling their games in dayton i just can't imagine <laughs> a team with a net ranking of 22 here i am not going to the dance well, how about this for the second half? Colorado State just won for their last 11. They're shooting 17.6% in the second half. San Diego State, four of their last five, shooting 50% in the second half. Steven stepping through the left hand, still a lid on the rim. And this is a team, remember, that's averaging, what, 19 assists a game? They only have 12. They started out four for four on assisted field goals to start the game. So they've struggled with ball movement here in the second half. Third foul on Clifford as Butler falls to the floor. Team foul number nine. That'll send Butler to the line for a one and one. And we got to give Butler credit with his on-ball defense. I mean, Stevens is an outstanding offensive player, but Butler, his ability to stay in front of the basketball and make it tough on him, he definitely deserves a lot of credit, and you'll see that from Butler time in and time out every night. Man, this kid is very tough. Butler, a coin flip from the free throw line this season at just 50%, hits the first. Yeah, and he leads to San Diego State in rebounds. He has eight rebounds in this game. It, it goes back to my point. You know, he's going to do whatever it takes to help the team win. If it's scoring, rebounding, assisting, playing defense. <laughs> Whatever the team needs him to do as a point guard, he's willing to do that. Two big free throws for Lamont Butler. Extends the lead to five. And now all the pressures on Colorado State. They led by 14 at the beginning of this half. Yeah, if you're, if you're Colorado State, you, you, wanna, you don't want to get sped up. You want to get a good shot right here. Continue to move the ball from side to side. And let's try to get an easy one in the paint. I believe Colorado State's got another big push in them in this game. And I agree with you, Darren. Get quality shots. Clifford deflected. Aztecs out and running. Liddy tussling with Scott. That is foul number five. And Joel Scott's night is over. Tenth team foul against Colorado State as the D will head to the line for two. One of the other reasons why you don't want to turn the ball over, Avery, against San Diego State is when Ladee runs, he's getting a mismatch every single time down when he posts up. You know, right there, he had a mismatch, and he was able to get fouled, but 
it, when you turn the ball over on this, this team, they're going to get an easy basket or an easy foul from Ladee inside the paint. It's just tough battling with him down there and trying to get back on defense and try to stop him on the uh, defense end. You know, Ladee is just a force down there. And I'm, Adrian, I'm happy I'm on this side right yeah. now. <laughs> that looked like it hurts out there. <laughs> yeah, that situation, I'm, I'm Coach Medved. I'm not a happy man. 8-0 run for San Diego State. Lead is up to seven. The gamble by Ladee. Palmer catch and shoot three no good San Diego State caught a break that time Ladee gambled and Colorado State didn't make him pay the price in that situation Well to shoot Butler over to Parrish it's Ladee Fighting for positioning, and that'll be a kick ball but, by Clifford. But you know, in this situation, when Ladee, he can operate from the elbow also. You, you don't have to can always post him up if it's not available. He can po he can isolate Carter at the elbow and face him up. Tremell nearly turns it over during that inbounds. Cartier telling the Colorado State bench to keep me in. Six to shoot, pal. Here's Liddy. Here Three to shoot. Faces up, Liddy. Oh, too many options as Cartier falls to the floor, and Cartier is in pain, mm. grabbing that left leg. Mm. Mm. And Cartier looks wow. like steps on yeah. the foot of Ladee. Yeah, he landed on him, unfortunately. Cartier. Mm. And that is a well. huge loss for Colorado State if he can't go the rest of this game. But Cartier yeah. struggling to put weight on that left leg. And you just hate to see it in such a competitive game. And Cartier has battled minute after minute tonight yeah. for positioning with Ladee. And... Ladi showing you why he is arguably the front runner for player of the year in this conference. 20 points in this second half, a game high 25 on the night. Yeah, yeah and that's an unfortunate situation, but on the positive with Ladi, that's one of the things that we were talking about. He's a really good isolation player from the elbow. And he can face up against some of the bigger, stronger. Foul called a legal screen by Bemba and another turnover and Nico Medved is beside himself and a technical on Medved and his coaching staff better get a hold of him right now. If he called the technical foul, did he call? It's two free throws. So here come the free throws. It's the 11th team foul on Colorado State. As Medved continuing to give the officials an earful at this moment. And you can sense the frustration. Your team's not shooting the ball well. You feel like the physicality has completely swung the other way for San Diego State. Right here, look. Lamont does such a great job of baiting that. He's seen that the whole entire time, and that's just a, a great play by a veteran in Lamont Butler. And, you know, you just hate to see Colorado State lose their composure. Um, they're such much a better team than this, and it's still time left. You know, they're, they're a team that can still get back into the ball game. And I wonder, in the next Mountain West game, if that same play happened, or, you know, next week, does the ref say just, come on, get up, play on? The pass. Stevens, open three, no good. Trammell. There go. And, you know, sometimes coach tries to send the message, 
you know, maybe fire up his team a little bit. But this is a heavyweight fight right here, guys. Parrish, open look, no good, Pal. batted around. Pal. Pal fights for it once again. And San Diego State will slow down for the first time this half. Man, it, that's their 12th offensive rebound. They've been the really desperate team here in the second half. Trammell, step back, Trey. Ho-ho! Darian Trammell pouring it on. Foul on Parrish. He picks up his third. Yeah, Dar Darian Trammell is very good in these situations, and we've seen it time and time again on the ISO. Right here on the three, money. It's an 18 to two run over the last six minutes and 39 seconds. And the difference that we've seen with this Colorado State offense between the first half and the second half. Yeah, I mean, San Diego State has put their imprint defensively on this game and we knew they were gonna do that, especially in this arena. We call this a broom ball right here. <laughs> <laughs> Avery, can you get that? No. <laughs> uh, I got my money on Avery. <laughs> no, in my dreams. You, it's funny, Michael Cage, whose jersey is retired here, you know, famous San Diego State. Powell's going to get another rebound here. Yeah, he once bet me <laughs> and in practice one day when I was playing for the Sonics, can I dunk the basketball for 100 bucks? Um, it never happened. Oh. <laughs> I didn't have any athleticism, guys. <laughs> that hundred dollars just wasn't serious to you. <laughs> Strong hits the first free throw. But that's what I love about the game of basketball. Yes, you know, players can dunk and play above the rim, but there's room for guys like the rest of us who can play below the rim with high basketball IQ, who has a great feel for the game, for sure. who can be leaders on the floor and contribute in a lot of different ways. It has been all San Diego State in the second half. Jaden Ladee with 20 points. Over the last 16 minutes, Ladee inside, double team. Ladee fighting through the contact. And he'll take another trip to the free throw line. Great recognition on Powell. I mean, he sees the high low. He makes the easy pass to Ladee. Ladee's able to get up there and get fouled. Look right here. Ladee seals his man. Good recognition by Powell. He's able to get fouled. And you notice because Powell's so long, you know, with that wingspan, he caught it above his head and just that that was a beautiful high low pass. Fifth foul on Bemba. So his night ends with one point. Five fouls, and that is just the pressure that Jaden Ladee would put on your defense. Avery, I have an interesting question. We we see Colorado State move the ball side to side, right? In a situation like this, when you're down 13, maybe possibly 14 points, is it time to just attack north and south instead of just moving the ball side to side all the time, like? You know, there's, there's got to be a little gray area, right, where you just got to go downhill and just make something happen, right? And you got to take the best available shot. Clifford poked away by Butler. Butler off and running, scoops it to the cup. Colorado State needs a timeout. Seventeen to one run for San Diego State. They lead by 15 with 349 left in this one. Let's take a look at our player of the game, presented by Old Trapper Beef Jerky. No surprises here, Jaden Ladee. Yeah, no surprises here. Ladee played a phenomenal game. Coming out in the second half, playing absolutely as a force in the pick and roll, rolling to the basket, stealing his guy in the paint on the ISO. Give me some of that. I mean, he was just everywhere. As you can see, 26 points, 10 and 13 shooting, and he had an amazing game for Ladee. Yeah, and that's what happens when 
um, you potentially can become LeBron West's outstanding player <laughs> of, the, of the year because you can yeah. have a bad first half right. and come back in the second half and put on the show. But seriously, the big difference here is 39 rebounds for San Diego State to 23 for Colorado State. Luddy comes over and cleans it up. And you guys remember in the first half, Colorado State was 7 for 14 from the three-point line, 1 for 8 here in the second half. It is Palmer giving up significant size to Ladee, trying to front him down on the block. Four to shoot. Mm. Butler, mid-range J, too strong. Powell, Powell chases Powell. it down. Another offensive rebound for Powell. So now they're plus 17 on the boards. San Diego State. 13th offensive rebound, but how about the hustle yeah, by Powell? All out hustle. He's been, he's not going to get the, the player of the game that's going to be Ladee, but he's contributed like Swiss Army knife, utility guy. He's done a little bit of everything. Yep. San Diego State continues the hot shooting in the second oh. half and offensive rebound again for the Aztecs poked away. Here comes Colorado State. So that's what I was talking about, yeah, Darren. The it, that three, that strong pass up, he's got to take that yeah. three. Yeah. And, and that, that's probably what San Diego State's defense does to you, right? Like they, they try to close out, they use their length, and they second guess you to think like, okay, you may have an open shot or not. But see, this is a veteran team because they understand the clock is their friend. They don't need to rush right now. Use some clock. Four to shoot again. San Diego State milking each possession. Parrish has to put it up, and they will wave it off. They're, they're up by 15, but you cannot take these moments for granted. Right now, they're fronting Ladee. There's going to be teams in the future that are going to play that same type of defense against Ladee, and you have to be able to capitalize. So they got to take these moments very preciously. Yeah, but utilize the clock, but not that at the expense of getting a shot clock violation. Clifford picks up the dribble up top. Strong. He'll try the three. No good. And Colorado State has just 11 points this half. Their lowest total in a half this season coming into tonight was 21. So an outlier of a poor offensive performance this second half for the Rams. Ladee spinning, baseline jumper. 90 seconds left as San Diego State trying to move within a half game of Utah State in the Mountain West Conference standings. And you know the beautiful thing about tonight, Lamont Butler has his first career double-double. 11 points, 10 rebounds for Butler. <laughs> Look and at the GOAT, guys. You see the GOAT? Who am I saying? <laughs> the GOAT right here. <laughs> a foul on Ladee at the end of the play. As if you need any more calls, right? <laughs> I can't remember the last time I've seen a tale of two halves. Yeah. Like what we've seen here tonight with Colorado State and San Diego State. And we've got the bullet points from the halftime speech for San Diego State. I think you might want to well, we gotta give that our, into the wall. We've got to give our one. guy Richard Stern some love, right? <laughs> Let's give him. Let's is, he, is he the PR director, director of communications? What's his title? We have the official title if you <laughs> browse through the San Diego what's, State. What's your official title? Assistant Athletic Director, okay. Media Relations. All right. Assistant Let Athletic Director, Media Relations. And I will say this. <laughs> if there is a blueprint yes. <laughs> for game notes, <laughs> it belongs to our assistant athletic director of media relations, <laughs> Richard Stern, because you get a game sheet that and has everything notes. on every player since yep. they were born. <laughs> Starters highlighted, important notes highlighted yeah. in blue, visually appealing as San Diego State will improve to eight and four, 19 and six on this season. 
He tries to move ahead of the log jam. That is the Mountain West Conference standings at this moment. Jaden Ledee checks out and his performance in the second half from the get-go as well too, Darren, completely changed this game. And I think a big key was what Coach Dutcher did, Darren and I were talking about it, just after those two fouls in the first half, just let him rest, bring all of that energy in the second half and lead the team to victory. Yep. Javante Johnson, no good as we get a couple subs on the floor here. B.J. Davis, number 10. Cade Alger stepping into this one as well. It's always cool to see some of the guys on the scout team get in at the end of the game so mom can see them on TV. I mean, they deserve it. That's right. They, yeah, they, they work just as hard as the players that play in the game earlier. Davis dumps it off, no good. 15 seconds left in this one. And San Diego State will improve to 34-0 at home following a loss and 12-0 at home this year. Ball batted around. B.J. Davis will claim it, and San Diego State will get the victory 71-55. They outscore Colorado State by 30. For Avery Johnson, Darren Collison, and our entire crew, I'm Jordan Kent. This has been a presentation of CBS Sports Network, the 24-hour home of CBS Sports. Coming up next, more basketball as Nevada post-New Mexico.